guys, um, as promised, your boy Fudo Yusei here again with another deck profile. As you can see, it's villain month. Yes, it's about that series, that that time of year, that time of season, and we got your boy Yuri. My my friend Judah doesn't like Yuri much, but I like him. You know, <laughs> I, I like, like how, him as a character. Yeah, as a character. I like his deck though. Yeah, his deck is pretty good. Um, fair warning though, we had to like fill in a lot of the cards in his deck too, cause just like. Uh, Yugo and Yuto, you know, besides Yuya, these guys' character decks were never finished. So we had to add cards from the manga, um, some repeats, and a lot of other uh, competitive cards that were made that he probably never even used. So we just had to fill in the deck to make it work. And uh, even for the extra deck too, because I mean, it's only two fusions, you know, and you kind of get bored of just summoning the same Star V Venom. You know, fusion dragging over and over, it gets boring and repetitive. So we had to like kind of like make it work a little better. So you know, all right. So let's get into it. Uh, for the monsters, we have um, we have three anime cards. Uh, we have Predator Plants, uh, Easter Lily Lizard, um, Predator Plants, Stapelia Worm. Bear with me; these names are ridiculously hard to read. And Predator Plants. Cephalot to snail, whatever. Cephalot to snail. Ah, weird. Uh, so yeah, um, these are some anime cards. Um, you guys can see that. Um, he used these in the anime, obviously, or or manga, and or manga. Uh, we have two copies of Predator Plants. Uh, Spinodionia, whatever. Uh, so yeah, we have two copies of those. Predator Plant. Cordyceps. Uh, we also have Predator Plant. Oh God. The weirdest names ever. Ofri Scorpio. We have um, Predator Plant, uh, Saracenient, and uh, a, a Predator Plant, Clamidosundu. Wow. Weirdest names I've ever seen. You know, forgive me guys if I got these names wrong. Correct me, that's fine. I suck at reading. These names are weird. So now we have uh, other Predator Plant cards. Uh, we have Predator Plant. Darlingtonia Cobra. Uh, we have two Predator Plant Moray Nephthys. Nephthys. I'm, I'm pretty sure people use that. I don't know. Oh, excuse me. Oh, bear with me. I'm also kind of having an allergic thingy here today. I guess it's all the plants. <laughs> we have two Predator Plant Squid Dress Rosa. <laughs> Uh, and we have two Predator Plant Fly Traps. So these guys are really good. Um, you want to see these guys go off, or you want to have these guys, or anything that gives your opponent counters, because this is what this deck is all about. And I'll kind of give a little explanation later in the video. Um, we also have Predator Plant. You know what? Whatever his name is, I'm not going to bother. <laughs> Petter uh, Pentaces, whatever. Ugh. Uh, predator Plant, just so. Elum Hydro, we have two of those, and last but not least, we have Predator Plant Banks Gorge. That's the I don't know the name. That's uh that's the tuner, the only tuner in the deck. So that's the monsters, guys. Um, let's go off to the traps again. Forgive me, guys. I'm kind of sick, having a little allergic reaction. With all these damn plants. <laughs> so we have Predator Predator Germination. Exactly. See what I mean? We have Predator Plant Reborn, and we have a um, uh, Dragon Creeping Plant. Holy crap, that's the weird card. And uh, Dark Seed Planter. This card is gonna be really—it's really good in the deck. That's like his main two combo with the Super Polymerization when we get there. And then we have a uh, Ridicule World. Uh, pretty much the very exact thing as Small World, but you know, more sinister is evil. And then we have Predator. Predator Planet. So yeah, so those are all the trap cards for the deck. And then let's go into the spell cards. Man, he has a lot of continuous spells. Uh, we have Fruit of Destruction. Uh, we have uh, Sea Cannon. We have Flower of Destruction. Holy crap. We have Violet Flash. We have Ivy Bind Castle, the card he used against uh, Yusho. Yusho's dad. And for any of you guys that watched the uh, Art V. Uh, we have Predator Blast, and then we go into the um, regular spell cards that actually came out. Um, uh, 
He only has one poly, and I guess in the his Predator Plant deck, uh, he has three in the in the Ancient Gear version of his deck. But uh, we added two because I mean, why not? So we have two polys. We have Super Polymerization. Yeah, and then we have Ultra Polymerization, which is really good. And then we have Preda Predaponics. Preda Preda pruning, pruning, and then we have fusion recycling plant. So yeah, so these are all the spell cards for his deck. All of these cards are very cheesy. Uh, like effects, very annoying effects, really. But you gotta get the actual cards, and you uh, you gotta do a lot of counter stuff. You gotta put a lot of predator counters on your on the field for you to do all that stuff. Um, at least one. Then we have the main fusion, so we go into Starving Venom, Fusion Dragon. This card is crazy, was crazy expensive when we bought it. Well, it wasn't expensive, but for one card it was, you know, pretty much. Uh, then we have Greedy Venom, Fusion Dragon. Yeah, that's the evolution of the regular Starving Venom. And then we also have uh, Predator Plant, Chimera Felicia. And then we have Predator Plants, uh, Predator Plants, or Predator Plant, uh... Dragosta Pelia. And then last but not least, uh, this is not his card, but you know, in the show he you know obtained it once he beat Yugo and you know kind of absorbed him, you know. Um, uh, we have Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, you know. So that's the extra deck um uh for his you know uh, for his deck. Um so a few of the combos in this deck, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but you know, it's pretty easy to fusion summon in this deck. But a few of the combos for this deck, uh, there's a lot, but I'm just gonna mention just a few. So, uh, with the monsters, uh, like I said, you really want to see Flytrap out. Because it's once per turn, you can just give a, a face of monster on the field, a predator, predator counter. And then, that monster's level becomes level 1. If his level, um... And if his level is level 2 or higher, his, you know, because of the counter, that monster becomes level 1. So it disrupts a lot um, of plays. Like, you know, if you're dueling against a Synchro uh, Duelist or a, or Xyz Duelist, um, this really hurts them. Because, you know, now they don't have a, a, a certain level and they can't go into their extra deck because of that. I mean, Synchro players, I guess they might take a more advantage of it than Xyz players. Um, but, uh, yeah. And then... His effect is really good because if he attacks into a monster uh, with a predator counter, he destroys it at like at the start of the damage step. So it's like during the damage step, I mean. So it's really good. You don't take any damage or anything. He just pops it. And then he gains the level of that card, which opens up for you to be able to fusion summon for, you know, Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon without having to use Starving Venom Fusion Dragon as a fusion material. So possibly you could have both of them on the field if you get the right cards. Uh, so yeah, that's one combo with it. Um, we also have, uh, again, we have other combos. We have the, this little combo by, in, in of it itself is a good combo uh, because um, you could just kill a monster and then you could equip that card on it. And then, you know, you can literally destroy that monster that was equipped and gain life points back, you know? So it's like, you know, a lot of good combos with this deck. You know, this card works by itself, but there's a lot of combos with it. Um, uh, there's another card. Um, this card, Predator Plant, pretty much works with anything that, you know, if, if a, of a monster on the field with a Predator Connor, you know, if it leaves the field, you just, literally, you could just, like, um, add one Predator Connor, uh, Predator card, not even a, like, monster, I mean, just a card that has Predator in its name from your deck to your hand. And you can banish this card from your graveyard to fusion summon so it's like it's like so amazing you know and i'm so upset that they didn't uh give them all these things with more fusions or anything but you know that's uh that's pretty good that card uh predator planet and then we also have a few other cards you know to work um well uh with the deck um i'll just show you guys one more card that you can actually take advantage of if you get it but um like, the deck is really easy to use. So, we have a two card combo, which is uh, you want to be able to do it as soon as possible. So, you can summon Orphid, Orf, Orfree Scorpio, 
when he's normal or special summon, you can literally send a Predator Plant monster from your hand to the graveyard. So if you have this guy, Predator Plant Cordyceps, um, you know, his effect is good during your next standby phase. You can literally banish it and then target, um, you can banish from your graveyard and target two level four Lord Predator Plant monsters from your graveyard and special summon them. But, you know, there's a downside, you can't really special summon any monsters except fusion summon and you can't normal summon or set any monsters. You know, for that turn that you do that. So, just be very worried about that. But these cards open up for like a lot of fusion play or if you want to put up, want to put in some like predator counters on cards, that, those cards come in handy. So, alright guys, that's the uh, Yuri deck profile. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned because there will be a villain duel for this month, hopefully. Hopefully, um, yeah. Yeah, if we can get it up on time. But there will be a villain duel, you know, specifically celebrating, you know, I guess this month, you know, this is the villain, you know, Halloween, all that stuff. I don't really celebrate Halloween. I'm too old for that. But, you know, it's that time of year, that time of season. So expect the villain duel. Riding duel. Acceleration. Gotcha.